What have you observed over the last three months? The macro has actually continued to dominate the narrative. We've seen a bounce back in the market based on the view that we're actually closer to peak interest rates and also from messaging from the US Federal Reserve and the Australian the RBA, potentially suggesting that the pace of interest rate tightening is actually starting to slow. In terms of economic fundamentals, we're probably of the view that the US is more likely than not to head into a recession next year. Australia, on the other hand, we think is better placed. You know, sectors such as the commodity space are actually helping the economy hold up better than expected. But at its core, we're fundamental bottom-up stock pickers, and as a team, we've been busy um, traveling extensively across Australia, meeting many of the portfolio companies, and as well, turning over new stones. With the volatility in the market, um, provides plenty of opportunity, and we've actually added quality businesses at attractive prices. Businesses such as Domino's Pizza in the Premium Small Companies Fund, um, and Aussie Broadband within the Microcap Fund. How is the consumer currently faring? The consumer is probably holding up better than we thought. It's actually quite resilient. The most recent trading updates during AGM season, by and large, were better than expected. We're seeing you know, consumer businesses catering to the domestic environment actually holding up very well. Businesses such as Harvey Norman and Nick Scarley posted pretty good updates. Also, um, names which are catering to a more resilient Demographics such as universal stores and ones not expo as exposed to the housing market are doing quite well. During AGM season as well, we got a pretty good update around Black, the recent Black Friday trading and actually has been pretty positive and, and should bode well for Christmas. That being said, however, you know, our view is that the environment's likely to continue to be tough, particularly as the impact of interest rates start to bite the consumer. And I think you've also seen this message from um, companies within the consumer space as well. Many have provided first half guidance, however, haven't actually provided an update um, in terms of their view around the full year. What are the key risks that companies are facing in their outlook? I think, just to reiterate Aaron's point, currently the consumer is still strong and the demand environment is healthy with consumers putting their hands in their pockets, they're buying goods for Christmas, they're still going to the gym and they're buying flights. Having said that, rising cost of living and high mortgage rates are likely to have an impact on this and we think this will turn eventually in calendar year 23. The other factors we're thinking carefully about when we talk to companies are really the impacts that cost inflation are having on their margins. For example, uh, wages and the supply of labour is a key factor and I think this is having impacts at companies which are labour intensive. Furthermore, uh, supply chains are also having an impact. And we touched on this at our last chat, but since then we've seen container rates, the cost of bringing containers from offshore into Australia has moderated back to below pre-pandemic levels. However, this has sort of been offset to some extent by internal freight rates that are higher due to higher diesel prices and a shortage of truck drivers. Um, other factors, other costs such as the higher cost of debt, which is higher now as cash rates have moved up, uh, that's having an impact at the interest cost line for companies which have uh, large borrowings. And we suspect that this, the, the sell side probably hasn't modelled this fully and we think there is a potential for further downgrades uh, post results. Another issue is the weaker Australian dollar and I think that if you're an importer bringing goods into Australia, you're paying Australian dollars for these goods and to maintain margins you'll likely have to raise prices. While some companies are able to do that, we suspect in a softening consumer environment it's going to be difficult for consumers to wear higher prices of goods. So this is another factor that we're thinking about in terms of maintaining margins. How are the portfolios currently positioned? Yeah, given the uncertainty in the environment, we still have fairly healthy cash balances and we are ready to deploy this cash in the event the market sells off further. Having said that, we are actively looking to deploy capital into high quality businesses that have sold off. And as Aaron mentioned, we have deployed capital into select 
uh, stocks over the last three or four months. Um, in addition to the stocks that Aaron talked about, we've also included John's Ling and Webjet into the Small Companies Fund, and we've added uh, property business Aspen Group and labour hire business people infrastructure into the microcap fund. And so we've been talking to companies recently post AGM updates, and then the next update will be at February reporting season where we re-engage and talk to companies about how they're trading in the third quarter. Uh, I'd also like to say to our investors and supporters, it's been a long, volatile year. We'd like to thank you very much for your support. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season and enjoy some time off.